for our mags. Hello, welcome to High Ground Gaming. Got my co-host Mags here. Say hi, Mags. Taking a place of Mr. Brody, who's telling me that Mr. Brody has gone to bed for the night, so she's going to take over. Here she is. <laughs> Say hi, Mags. Come on. Miss Mags was here all alone while we were off house sitting, so she's looking for extra attention tonight. There she is. Say hi, Mags. Say hi to everybody. Oh, <laughs> she just jumped on my desk here. She's trying to put her head rub on the microphone here. <laughs> yeah, you say hi to everybody, Mags. Yeah, be a good girl. Okay. So, all right, so we're playing a second game here in, uh, on Sunday, August 6th. Another game against the St. Louis Cardinals, who we squeaked by with a 3-2 win in the last video. That was a great game, so check that one out. Probably shouldn't have told you the score, but anyway. <laughs> I'll learn. So, so all right, so we're going to play our second game here. Uh, and then maybe go check out some Al Red Sox fan video after that. Um, so it's game two of our series. I think it's a, I believe it's a three-game series against the St. Louis Cardinals. Uploading the first game while this one's uh, we're playing this one now. So load our lineup. McGraw loads the lineup, and we are in a 13-game winning streak. So we're looking to increase that to 14 games today, obviously. So let's get this game underway. Welcome to Polo Grounds for today's game between St. Louis and New York. St. Louis has lost 8 straight, and 9 of their last 10. New York has won 13 straight, and 10 of their last 10. Jake Thielman takes the mound for St. Louis. He's made five starts on the year and is two and three with an earned run average of 3.53. His first start against New York. He'll be opposed by Red Ames for New York. He's made four starts on the year and is three and zero with an earned run average of 1.74. His first start against St. Louis. New York right fielder George Brown is riding a 13 game hitting streak. New York catcher Roger Bresnahan is riding. 12 game hitting streak. It's 70 degrees, wind speed 11 miles per hour, left to right. Pitching for New York, Red, Ames. Leading off for St. Louis, first baseman, Jake, Beckley. Alright, so this is a game from May 10th of 1905. So in a lot of my series were in the month of May. I know the inside pitch videos were in the month of May. And trying to think, I think I've got at least, I think the, uh, my Digital Diamond Baseball, I have, I'm into the month of May also too, so we've conquered the first month in a lot of these replays, so that's pretty cool. Um, so this one is a 1905 season, the Digital Diamond Baseball is the 2017 season, and the... Oh, the uh, inside pitch uh, 1967 season is, yeah, it's 1967. So, Red Ames is on the mound. He's got a record of 3-0 with an area of 1.74. So, another great starter we have here. And 2-3 and three is the starter for St. Louis, Jake Tillman, with an area of 3.53, which is very high back then. That's probably comparable to like a 4.5 or a 5 ERA now. Um... So we're looking to extend our hitting, our winning streak to 13, 14 straight games. And George Brown, the right fielder, is riding a 13-game hitting streak, which is as long as our winning streak. So we can keep both of those going, as well as Bresnahan's 12-game hitting streak. And I know we've got a few other guys that have um, hitting streaks started, so... I'm not sure exactly how far along they are, but they may be popping up before we can continue our, our winning ways here. 
So we see what happens. The Cardinals played us tough in the last game, even though they felt us three to two. So we have to be on our toes here. And Beckley here. Well, actually, we'll get to that in a second. Let's just play ball. So Beckley, first baseman. Um, I was going through the stats there. I said he played a long career. He is actually a Hall of Famer, a Hall of Fame first baseman. So he he'll lead it off for the. Cardinals. Batting second will be Mike Shannon. He's Mike Shannon. Is Mike Shannon. No, Spike Shannon. Spike. That was my grandfather's nickname too. So on my father's side. So Spike Shannon bats second. Plays left field. Behind the plate, Mike Grady again, the catcher. Batting cleanup today will be Mike Dunley. Uh, Mike. <laughs> Jack Dunleavy, not the other, not Mike Dunleavy, the left fielder. Batting fifth will be today will be Danny Shea, the shortstop, not the brain. The brain gets a day off. <laughs> it's Sunday, so the brain can get a day off on Sunday. Arndt, the second baseman, will bat sixth. Oh, and brain, there's brain. I guess he doesn't get a day off. So the brain just shifts over to third base from shortstop to the third. So Dave Brain will be the shortstop. I mean the third baseman, batting seventh. And the Hall of Famer, another Hall of Famer here, Kid Nichols, who's also a pitcher, but today he's playing center field. He'll get his first at bat of the season. Nearing the end of his career. His illustrious uh, Hall of Fame career. So he'll bat eighth. And batting ninth on the mound will be Jake Tillman. So, alright, so Beckley will lead it off, the first baseman. Red Ames on the mound. Like I said, he's 3 0 with an ERA of 1.74. He was 22 and 8 on the actual season with a 2.74 ERA. So, so far, he's pitched 31 innings, allowed 26 hits. That's not a lot of home run. 13 walks and 13 Ks, and opponents are hitting just 226 off of him. So Beckley steps into the box. He gets a sign from Bresahan. He has the wind up and the pitch. And we're off. It's going to be a slow roll to Gilbert. We we'll like to play over him again. And that's the first out of the game. So Spike Shannon up now. Hitting 279 with 9 runs batted in. Nine runs scored, ten stolen bases, so he's got some speed. A double and a triple. So Ames looks in for the sign from Bresnan. Does the wind up in the pitch? It's going to be a slow roll to short. Dallin's up with it, over to first. And beats the speedy Shannon. So two up and two down. That'll bring up Mike Grady, the catcher. Hitting 246 with six runs batted in. Four runs scored, a stolen base. Two doubles and two triples. It'll be a foul ball down the third base line. And it's going to be hit back to Ames. Ames over to McGann. Across it to the top of the first. After one half inning, St. Louis 0, New York coming to bat. Pitching for St. Louis, Jake Thielman. Leading off for New York, center fielder, Mike Donlin. All right, so this computer guy said Jake Thielman. Will be on the mound for the Cardinals. 3.53 ERA, right along with what he did for the regular season. Two and three record. 15 was 15 and 16 on the year. So he's pitched 43 innings, allowed 50 hits. No walk. I mean, no homers allowed. Five walks and three strikeouts. And opponents are hitting a whopping 2.94 against him. Hopefully, we can continue our hot hitting against Tealman. Mike Donlin will lead it off, hitting 354 with a homer and 12 runs batted in. 22 runs scored, three stolen bases, a base percentage of 423, and he's got four doubles and four tri three triple, four, four doubles and four triples. And he's going to hit a ground at a second. All right, he's up with it. Over to Beckley, and we have one down. George Brown now batting second. So 
Probably more with a lineup. George Brown in the right fielder will bat second. Bresnahan, the catcher, bats third. McGann, the first baseman, cleanup. Sam Mertes will be the left fielder batting fifth today. Art Devlin, the third baseman, bats sixth. Bill Dowell in the shortstop bats seventh. Billy Gilbert is the second baseman, batting eighth. And Red Ames is on the mound, batting ninth. So Brown, as he says here, is on a 13 game hitting streak. Let's see what we can do here in his first at bat. And it's a foul ball down the, just foul down the first baseline. So he gets under one here. He's going to pop it up the first. Beckley's under it and makes the catch for the second at first. Bresnahan up now has himself a 12 game hitting streak. And he'll dry a walk to lead it off. First baseman, Dan McGann. Bresnahan is hitting 405 coming into the game with 11 run RBIs. 539 on base percentage. We just got increased with that walk. So, a two out walk for Bresnahan brings up McGann. 313 hit it with 22 runs batted in. 11 runs scored, four stolen bases. On base percentage of 444. Two doubles and five triples. Hit a triple in the last game. He's going to hit one straight away center field. And it'll be up. St. Louis 0, New York 0. Right fielder, Jack Dunleavy. So Kid Nichols is able to go straight back and catch that one. So Chicago Cubs are active today. They were off yesterday. So we currently have a half game lead in, in the National League over the Chicago Cubs who were idle yesterday. They're playing two games today um, against the Boston Bean Eaters. So, <laughs> probably have a good chance of sweeping both those games. But hopefully the Bean Eaters will play them tough. So in the second inning, there's no score between the Bean Eaters and the Cubs. So Dunleavy up now. Jack's hitting 237 with five runs batted in, eight runs scored, a couple stolen bases. Double and triple. And he's going to hit one back through the box. Sure he's unable to get the glove down. And Dunleavy will be on with a leadoff single here in the second. That'll bring up Danny Shea getting a start today at short. Hitting just 120 on the season. Six hits and 50 at bats. Six runs batted in, five runs scored, and two stolen bases, and has one double. And runners off of the pitch. And Bresnahan throws him out. So Bresnahan is able to throw out Dunleavy, attempting the steal. And we have one down now. Danny Shea up now with a Record count of 0 and 1. 0 and 2 the count. Up and in, 1 and 2. That's going to be a dribble to Dowlin. Great play by Dowlin. Great diving play. Gets up and guns him down. Second baseman, Harry Hart. So Dowlin can make some great plays, but he could also make some poor plays. A little bit of a mixed bag there. But this time he makes a great play for the second out. Brings up Arndt. All right, he's hitting 233 with six runs batted in. Eight runs scored, a couple stolen bases, and two doubles. And he's going to get under one here. Donlin backs up and makes the catch. One hit, no errors. After one and a half, St. Louis 0, New York 0. Left fielder, Sam Mertes. And the score going to the bottom of the second. Sam Mertes is up now. Left field is hitting 233 with a homer and nine runs batted in. Has 14 runs scored, five stolen bases, four doubles, and two triples. And he's going to pop up to Nichols on third, uh, straightaway center field. Nichols is perfect in the outfield. 
he had that many at bats. And he played in seven games in 1905. So those are his seven games. Eight games in the field. Actually, eight games total. And 28 two plate appearances. This might be his only start. That's eight games, including pitching and, and hitting. So he's only going to play eight games total. This is one of them. So we get to see the Hall of Famer Kid Nichols here. So Art Devlin up now, hitting 233 with 13 runs batted in. 13 runs scored, two stolen bases, and two doubles and a triple. And he's going to hit a single over the second base bag. He's on with a one-out single. Philadelphia Phillies and Pittsburgh Pirates are scoreless in the third. Dowling up now. He's hitting 241. 20 hits and 83 at bats. Homer 19 runs bat in, 15 runs scored, two stolen bases. On base percentage of 357, one double and three triples. Ball one, just below the knees. That's gonna be a single right back through the box. And we're not gonna chance it. The so runners on first and second with one out for Billy Gilbert. Ball one. Second baseman is hitting 246 with five runs batted in, eight runs scored, and three doubles. And it's going to be a. Oh, they're going to go to third. So it's going to be an unconventional. Pitcher, Red Games. One, five, three, double play. No, actually, it doesn't work. You just get the lead run in there. So a one five on the fourth on the field of choice would have been a one five three if it was a double play, but thankfully Gilbert's able to beat it out. The inning will continue. Red Ames comes up hitting one forty three with a run scored. Hit one forty four for the season. So he's hitting right about what he normally does. Hopefully he can get a hit here and give the Giants an early lead. And it's ball one, or a, or a walk, that would be acceptable too. One and one the count. Two and one the count, I think we're going to take another one here. And three and one the count, we'll take one more. And we'll draw our walk, so draws a five pitch walk and that'll load the bases for the top of the order, Donlin. He's a 350 hitter right now, rounded out to second his first time up. So a great opportunity to get on the board here. And it's ball one, up and away. And he's gonna get under one here. Oh, it's gonna fall in behind the second base bag. Two runs are gonna come in. As they were two outs, the runners were off on the pitch. And Ames makes his way to third. So Gilbert scores, as well as, who was it? It was Dallin, I wanna say. Might have been dead when I can't remember. Well, anyway, so two runs come in, and it's a 2 nothing giant lead in the second. So they're able to do a little two-out rally here. Key there was Ames's drawing a walk to load the bases. Bring up Don Donlin. So now George Brown will get a chance to extend his 13-game hitting streak. Pop the first his first time up. Runners at the corners. And he's going to hit one to straightaway center. And Nichols will make the catch. After two, St. Louis zero, New York two. Third baseman, Dave Brain. The Giants do score two, and after two full, lead at two to nothing. And the Chicago Cubs have gone up one nothing against the Bean Eaters in third. So it'll be Brain, Nichols, and Thielman up against. Ames here in the third inning. Now the, with a 2 nothing lead. And he'll line up the third. Devin makes the catch. Brings up Kid Nichols. His first at bat of the season, he, he hit 
would be 5 for 22 in the actual season. So, Nichols in the twilight of his career. And he's going to line one. And Brown comes in. Ooh, are we going to have Brown? <laughs> are we going to have Brown try to make a diving catch here? I don't think we're going to. No. Brown isn't that great of a fielder, so I'm going to say no. Got a home for a single. Pitcher, Jake Fielding. So Brown does not attempt to dive. He holds back and holds into a single. Now that could have been his, that could have been as much as a triple or a possible inside the park home run if he gets past Brown. So single we can deal with. We still set up for the double play here. So the pitcher Tealman up now. Hitting 176, three hits and 17 at bats. He's a 231 hitter on the season. Ball one. He'll throw to first. He shows over to first. He gets back safely. Not a threat to steal. 2 0 the count. I'm sure he's not going anywhere. Or no hit and run is on. In there for strike, swung on a miss, strike one. And it's gonna be this could be two. Instead, Dallin decides to get the safe, go the safe way and get the pitcher out at first. And Nichols moving the scoring position now. Cincinnati leads Brooklyn three to nothing in the third. So Beckley up now. Grounded the second his first time up. We're in scoring position now. Strike one, swing and miss. And it's going to be a wild pitch on Ames. So Nichols will move into third. Two and one the count. Three and one the count. And it's going to be a base hit. That'll knock in Nichols for the first run for the Cardinals. And the giant lead is cut in half, two, two to one. So Beckley gets himself an RBI single. Shannon up now, 0 for 1. Throw the first. Beckley's back safely. 0 and 2 the count. Philadelphia and Pittsburgh are still scoreless in the fourth. Over they get to check on Beckley. And they, ooh, they pick, no. Oh, man, that's the danger of that. So, error on Ames. Bad throw to first. And lost Beckley to move in scoring position. Count 0-2. And looks like Donlin will make the catch. Two hits. So the error does not hurt. St. Louis 1, New York 2. That's how to bring up Bresnahan. He's got a 12-game hitting streak. Walked his first time up. And he'll line out. Oh, what happened there? Like he lined out, but it perhaps he did. So, so Nichols will let it fall, and Bresnahan's hitting streak is going goes to 14 games now. Extends his hitting streak. So Cincinnati all over Brooklyn, 5 0 in the third. So the lead runner is on for the Giants. Brings up McGann. Fly the deep center his first time up. Swing and a miss, strike one. 0 oh 2 the count. And he's going to hit one out to the left. Shannon Bailey has to move. One down. Oh, the Bean Eaters have put up a fight. They've tied the Cubs 1-1 one one in the fourth. We'll check the scores at the end of the third here. So Sam Merte is up now 0-1. for one. Swing and a miss. Strike one. 0-2 oh the count. He's going to get under one here. He'll pop it up the first. Beckley will make the catch. Press the hand back to first. 
two down now for Devlin. Art is one for one on the day. Single to center his first time up. And he'll single past the third baseman, goes into the corner. And don't know what happened there, but Shannon just took a bad route to that ball. Devlin's going to end up with a stand-up triple. Bresnahan scores, so an RBI triple for Art Devlin. And the Giants extend their lead to 3-1, to one, so they get the run back. <coughs> Excuse me. So Dowling up now. He singled his first time up. Ball one. 2-0 the count. And the line's a foul ball to the third baseline. 2-1. And, and he cut one back up the, to the box. One run, two hits, no errors. Tealman will make the play for the final out. St. Louis 1, New York 3. All right, so let's check the scoreboard here. Not that. You can go this way. Alright, so Cubs and the Bean Eaters are tied at one. In the bottom of the fourth. Phillies lead the Pirates one to nothing. In the fifth. And Cincinnati is all over Brooklyn eight to one. In the bottom of the third. And here it's the Giants three and the Cardinals one. Catcher Grady will lead it off. Oh for one in the day. And he's going to hit one to McGann. Ames is over quickly to cover. Top. McGann tosses it to him. And we have one down. Dunleavy up now. Singled his first time up. And he's going to pop one up to Mertes. Drifts over to his left and makes the catch for the second out. Time to bring up Shea the shortstop. Grounded the short his first time up. And right it back up through the box. Shea will have himself a two-up single. And we have Arndt, the second baseman. Go over to first. And he's back. And he's off with the pitch, and it's going to be no throw. So third steal of the year for Shea. Puts him in scoring position. 1-1 the count on Arndt. 1-1 the count. Be a single. Shea will come around to score. It's RBI single for Arndt. So it's a three to two game now. Bring up Brain. Not that much of a threat to say. A little bit. We'll throw him for once just to like show him that we know he's there. Brings up Brain though for one. Bob all down the first baseline. He's going to get under one here. Looks like Devlin's got it lined up. And he'll make the catch. St. Louis 2, New York 3. So the Cardinals get the run back, and it's again a one run game. Gilbert will lead it off. Philly's 0 for 1 in the day. He's going to hit one down to third base. Brains up with it, over to first. One down. Put your aims up now. Bunted, not he walked his first time up. And he's going to get himself a single this time. Ames is on with a one out single. Better bring up Donlin one for two on the day. He'll cut one back up the middle. Yeah. Ames holds it second. So runners on first and second with one down for Brown. Still looking to extend his 13 game inning streak. Strike one on the inside part of the plate. One and one the count. And he'll file that one back. And this one looks like it. No. It's Center fielder Nichols 
Drifts over to his left. He's already in scoring position, so. Looks like Cincinnati is up to a lead to 9 to 1 now. Chicago and Boston still tied at 1 in the 5th. The Bresnahan, we got the Bresnahan now, extended his hitting streak his last time up. Foul ball back out of play. Count evens at 1. Pops it up behind the plate. Looks like it's going to have a play on this one. Not quite as it goes back in the stand. So one and two the count on Bresnahan. Count evens at two. Pops this one behind the plate. This one looks like it's going to go back out of play. Pops one up to right. I mean down the first baseline. Beckley gives chase but cannot get to it. Two and two the count still. Count is full. Runners will be off on the count with two down. Good pitch. And he'll draw a walk. So Bresnahan draws his second walk of the day and the bases are loaded. So to bring up McGann who's 0 for 2 on the day. Giants would love to get a hit here. Give him a little cushion. And now it's back out of play. 0-1-1. Count evens at 1. And this lines a sing laces a single down the first base line past Beckley. One run comes in, two runs come in. Bresnahan goes to third, and the Giants have a five to two lead. So they get a little breathing room for Ames now. Run is at the corners for Mertes. It's a foul ball on the first base line. Mertes is over two in the day. One and one the count. Lot ground out to short and the inners. We played for St. Louis 2, New York 5. So the Giants scored 2 and now lead it 5 2. Ames now has a three run lead. Nichols singled his first time up. And he's going to hit one out to right. Brown is under it and makes the catch for the first out. Pitcher Tien in up now. Failman. Round out to Merte, uh, out to Dowling. Second out. First baseman Beckley up now, one for two on the day. No and he strikes him out. No hits, no errors. After four and a half, St. Louis two, New York five. So halfway through, it's Giants five to two. Art Devlin having a great day, two for two on the day. And he'll line out to Shea for the first out. Gives it down, one for two. And hits one out to left, and Shannon will make the catch for the second out. Billy Gilbert, 0 for 2 on the day. So he's going to ground to second. No Arndt makes the play. No, no errors. We played five. St. Louis, two. New York, five. So we head to the six. Giants with a comfortable three run lead. Ames will face Shannon, Grady, and Dunleavy. Shannon's over two. He gets his first hit, lead off single. Brown throws it back in for the first hit of the inning. Grady up now over two. And he's got. And he was off on the pitch. Gonna have to head back as Don Lee drifts to his right, makes the catch. Throws into Gilbert. So one down now. Dunleavy is one for two. Ball one. We'll throw it first. Keep it honest. Shannon back safely. Again, holding him on. Two and the count. And he's off with the pitch. And he's gonna be out. So Bresnahan guns down his second base runner today. Second caught stealing. So Bresnahan's had a good day behind the plate as well as at the plate. Extended his hitting streak. So 3 0 count though on Ames, but now with nobody on. So we're going to go aggressive here. It's in there for a strike. We'll go aggressive one more time. And he'll line a 
Hopper to Dallin and make the play for the final out. After five and a half, St. Louis two, New York five. The Giants up now, looking to extend their three run lead. Great Ames walked in single. And he'll line out to Beckley, soft liner. Puts it away for the first out. Donlin two for three on the day. And ooh. Shannon comes a long way for that one. Catches that one almost on the infield grass. So Brown now is up 0 for 3. Time running out for him to extend his hitting streak to 14 games. And it won't be this time as he grounds out to second. No runs, no hits, no final runs. out. So. After six complete, St. Louis 2, New York 5. The Giants will have to get a rally going in the 7th or the 8th to give Brown a chance to extend another at bat. So Shea will lead it off, one for two on the day. Singled his last time up. And it'll be a lead up walk. First walk of the day led up by Ames. He's also struck out one. Throw over to first. Shea back safely. Aren't up now. Ball one low. One and one. Count goes to two and one. Three and one the count now. Goes over to first. Back safely. And he'll draw a walk. So first two runners on. The tying runner comes to the plate and Brain, who's 0 for 2 on the day. Rezan goes out and talks with Ames. Ames nods his head and gets back behind the plate. Here's the windup in the pitch. In there, swing and a miss, strike one. And he's going to lace one down the. Oh, and. No! What happened there? It's like Brown had issues with it. And traps it. They said it's a trap. So Brown is unable to come up with it. And the bases are loaded with nobody out now. So McGraw comes out the to top Ames. Giants trying to preserve their three run lead here. Going to bring the infield in. Actually, no, not yet. We'll trade two for one. We don't care about that first run. We just don't want more than one to score. So we'll trade. So Nichols up now 0 for 2. Ball 1. 2 and 0 the count. Let's get aggressive here. And it's going to be a dribble. At, oh no! And an error by Gilbert. Third giant error on the day. I think they gave Brown an error too. It's now a 5 to 3 game. Still nobody out. Yeah, I think we gotta bring we gotta bring the infield in now. So the infield's gonna play in for a pitcher. Yeah, Tailman. Gotta play the infield in with a pitcher batting. Ball one. Aim struggling with his control now up to 105 pitches. Two and oh the count. Three and oh the count on the oh man. Gotta get aggressive here. Gonna pop one up. Hopefully the catcher is gonna make a play on this one, but it's back out of play. So three and one the count. Count is full now. Gotta keep going aggressive. What the heck happened there? Kept a risky play. It's behind the plate. Didn't say no though. Well, one run's gonna come in. That one looked like a foul ball there, but apparently that's a little bit off. Only had a 20% chance, so it's a one run game now. Base is still loaded, still nobody out. Action going in. Claude Elliott's going to start warming up in the bullpen. So, all kinds of problems for the Giants here. Gotta keep playing that infield in. Be Beckley up now, one for three. Their best, arguably their best hitter up now. Pop one up, come on, Bresnan catch the mask, let's get back out of play. Oh, and one. one and one the count. Oh man, and the bleeding just keeps on going. 
<laughs> Four runs in now, and now the Cardinals take a 6-5 to five lead. Playing that infield in, something's got to happen eventually. Ball one. You have a base open, two and oh the count. Three and oh the count. Strike in there, three and one. Foul ball. And they finally get the first out of the inning. Four runs across though. Grady up now, trying to keep it a one run deficit. Field's got to play in again. Who's up next? Yeah, done. Or oh, Shea, I might walk, but no, I'm not done. Infield playing in again. Strike one. So Pops one up. Good, good, good. Dallin goes back and makes the catch. So two down now. Infield can play back. Young Levy, one for three now is up. And that will retire the signs. Two errors after six and a half. So I believe all those runs, New York five. all those runs were unearned there. Because of two errors. We get two errors on it. Let's just check that real quick. Let's check out. Play by play. I believe those were both unearned runs. Let's watch it. Oh, yeah, safe on an error. Shade the third out of the second. It's about safe on an error. I'm not sure if all those were unearned. Let's check the box score here. Real quick. So it looks like. Two of them were two of the four runs were unearned, so okay, I guess that makes sense. So alright, so three run lead turn now turn into a one run deficit in the bottom of the seventh. Giants are not panicking yet as they know they're a good good team. President tries to rally the troops there. He'll lead it off one for one. Walk twice and lined a single. Oh, and he hits him. So, good start to the inning. Bresnan takes one for the team there. Looks like he'll be all right. He's got a piece of his arm. So, again, I'm now one for three. We're just going to keep hitting away. We're not going to... For a big inning here. One and one to count. And it's going to be a fly ball to right. And then it'll be a foul ball. So, one and two to count. And he's going to get under one here. He'll pop it up to Beckley who was playing in. So one down. Twelve stolen bases. He's only at, Brady's only at four catcher. Oh boy. Marte is hitting on six. Alright, we're just gonna not panic yet. Let's just hit away. Strike one. One and one the count. And it's gonna be a single up the middle. The president move up to second, so run is on first and second. And the Chicago Cubs have increased the lead. Now have a lead on the Boston Bean Eaters. The Cubs four and the Bean Eaters one in the seventh. That stays the same. The Giants have to win. They maintain their half game lead on the Cubs. At least until they play their second game. So Art Devlin up now. He's having a good day. Two for three. Singled and tripled. His runners on first and second. Strike one. Swung at a bad pitch there. And it's going to be a single. Ooh. Can't though. 144%. So, Bresnan holds at third, so the bases are loaded with one out for Dowling. So, Bill Dowling, the shortstop up now, with an opportunity to 
at least tie the game, if not give the Giants the lead. Down to one for one, one for three today. Singled up the middle, grounded back to the pitcher, and fly down the left field line. Field is going to play playing back there for the double play. Ball one, high. Oh, is this going to be deep enough? 89% chance we're going to try it. Resnan tags, throw goes in the second, and we have a tie ball game. So sack fly for Dallin, and the game is tied. That'll bring up Gilbert 0 for 3 on the day. We got a pinch hit for Gilbert. And we got Strang can play second base and he's the better hitter. Against the righties. 55. Let's check out Gilbert. Gilbert against righties is 241. We play 239. And he's, plus he's 0 for 3 on the day. I think we're going to see defensively what do we do. Check and see what, what Gilbert brings us defensively. Gilbert is a. Double play pivot six. Durability batter, hit and run power, four and four. So six, four, and four and four. This is defense. I think he's a six. That might be a speed. It might be a six though. Let's see what Strang is. of a defensive liability, but I think we got to pull out the stops now and go for the, try to get the base hit here. Okay, so we're going to bring in Strang. Strang will come in and pinch it for Gilbert. Sammy, Strang. Strang is hitting 400. He's the hot hand. Eight hits and 20 at bats. Yeah, we're going to go with the hot hand. Two doubles, I mean a double, a triple, a homer, ten runs batted in, seven runs scored. On base percentage of 520 also, so that's another good thing. So even if he doesn't get a hit, he could probably draw a lot. So Let's see what happens here. Thielman looks into the sign from Grady. Here's the windup and the pitch. Strike one. Caught the inside corner. Count evens at one. Two and one to count. Good hitters count. And he's gonna get under one here, and that'll do it. No errors. After seven complete, St. Louis six, New York six. So hopefully that won't hurt us. Strang's defense. So we tie it up with one run. So it's six six going into the top of the eighth. Aims back out there. Elliot is ready. Shea one for two. It's going to be a dribbler. Dallin's going to come up with it. Over to first and gets him. So good play by Dallin. The first out of the inning. Aren't up now. One for two. Two down now for Brian. For Brain. He's 0 for 3. And he's going to hit it out to Brown. Come on, Brown. And he makes the catch. So 1, 2, 3. St. Louis 6, New York 6. So we can't check it here. Uh, trying to sit down. Can I sit down now? Yes, I can't from here. Aims up now, one for two on the day. 
not a bad hitting pitch. We're going to let him hit. And I'll hit one straight away center field. Nichols will make the catch. So Donlin, two, four up now, top of the order. And he'll lace a single to right. Donlin's got 33 stolen base. I think we're going to try to score. And we're going to have to give Brown a chance to knock in his run and go ahead and run. And the winning and the uh, extend his hitting streak. So I think that's the plan. So Donlin, see if he can get a good read on Tailman. Here's the windup and the pitch. He's off with the pitch. And he's going to be out. Oh, man. All right, let's see if Brown can at least extend his hitting streak here. And strike one. 0 oh and 1. Count evens at 1. No, I'm sorry, 1 and 2 to count. Ah, he's going to get under one. He's going to pop out. No so, one no that could be it. Eight part in the books. St. Louis 6, New York 6. Kid Nichols leads it off, 1 for 3. Strike 1. We're going to sit. Gonna sit him down. Warm him up again. <laughs> He's too tired. Gonna pop one up here to 3rd. Devlin will make the catch for the first out. Tillman up now, the pitcher. Imagine they're going to pinch hit for him here. No, they're not. Goes over to first. So Beckley, three RBIs today. Two down now, nobody on. You have to hit it out of the ballpark to get an RBI now. Steady hits it to Devlin, over to first, and that'll do. No runs, no hits, no errors. After eight and a half, St. Louis six, New York six. So we head to the bottom of the ninth with the Giants a chance to win it in the ninth. Extend their hitting streak to 14, winning streak to 14 games. Now we're headed to extra innings. Part of me wants to see extra innings just to give Brown another chance, but I think the winning streak is more important than the hitting streak. So Bresnan comes to the plate now, already extended his hitting streak, one for one with two walks and a hit by pitch. So pop one up behind the plate. This looks like it's going to be playable. And it is. It's great he makes the catch. So one down in the bottom of the ninth for McGann. One for four. Get one to the pitcher. Throws over to first. One three. So Sam Merte is up now. One for four. Ball one. And he looks like he's going to pop it up the first. Beckley sizes it up, makes the catch. Nine. After nine complete, St. Louis six, New York six. So Cincinnati nine, Brooklyn four in the ninth. So Ames is back out there for the tenth. Elliott's still warming in the pen. One and oh the count on Shannon. Two and oh the count. And right up the middle for a single. Do a mound trip here. Ames is still strong, so we'll give him one more batter. Throws over to first. Shannon's back safely. Grady over four. Ball one. Count even at one, swing and a miss. One and two the count. Runner's off. And he's gonna be out. Double play. What happened there? <laughs> that was a really strange play. What happened there? Well, that was really weird. I know it was a throw out second base, but... Oh, Shannon Line Singleton looks struck out. Shannon caught steel. Okay, so apparently I don't know why he started running towards first. All right, so double play though. That's all that counts. So, Dunleavy up now, one for four. Strike one. Roll with a Dowling, makes the play. So we head to the bottom of the tenth. St. Louis six, New York six. So it'll be bottom of the order, Devlin, Dowling, and the pinch hitter Strang, who came on to play second base in the eighth. 
Devlin's got three hits on the day, looking for a fourth. And he's going to get his fourth, so leadoff single. So Dowling will be bunting here. So Dowling squares around for the bunt. Looks like a good one. Go over to first. So the winning run, Devlin, moves in scoring position now with one down. Sammy Strang with a chance to be the hero. And they're going to put him on to get to the pitcher. So Red Ames is going to be let a pinch hit for him. So who are we going to have up here? Frank Bowerman, the backup catcher. Two sixty-three against righties. This is our only real option here. Uh, let's see what Red Ames is. What, what's Red Ames? Is that? Two twenty-one against. He's not a bad hitter. Then I lose my last catcher. We get a chance to win it here. There's only one out, so we still have Devlin to come up. So. Could have, I could have Bunt and give Devlin a chance, but... Walked, grounded a single series. I've been on base twice. I'm going to let him hit away. Strike one. And then... Lays one down. Oh, and they get the middle runner. Oh, and they get the double play. No. No, wait, wait, wait. Ames beats it out. So Ames beats out the throw, so hold the phone there. Runners at the corners. For Donlin, who's got three hits on the day, so Donlin can win it here for the be the hero. I almost want to see him get walk or something like that to give Brown a chance, but we'll take the win. All right, so Don let up three for five now. See what he can do here. Strike one, outside corner. Count evens at one. And Thielman is still out there. 134 pitches, so one and two the count. Pops one up behind the plate. It's gonna look like it's gonna go back out of play. Grady gives chase, but it's back out. So one and two steal the count. Count evens at two. And it's going to be a single. And the Giants win. Giants win in dramatic fashion. Seven to six. Wow. So the win is bittersweet as they do extend the hitting streak, but... Brown is unable to extend his hitting streak, and it ends at, I think, 13 games. But Brown does not care. The Giants' winning streak continues. Polo Browns in 10 innings, New York 7, St. Louis 6. Woo! New York has won 14 in a row. St. Louis has lost 9 in a row. Red Ames is the winner. He is now 4-0 on the season. Jake Thielman picks up the loss. He is now 2-4. Time of the game, 2 hours, 9 minutes. So that was, they sweat that one out, but the Giants are able to come out on top, 7-6. to six. Wow. <laughs> so Donlin gets the MVP. Ames gets the win. Went all the distance, 4-0. Thielman, the tough luck, well, not really tough luck loser. So 13 runs scored, but only two pitchers. So that is definitely a dead ball game. Well, not to score, but leaving the starting pitchers out that long. Check out the box score here. Uh, Mr. Brody missed a good one here. So Ames goes the distance, pitches 10 innings, allows nine hits, six runs, only four of them were earned. Two walks, three strikeouts. And Thielman gets the loss. Oh, so aim, yeah, two and four. Nine and two thirds innings pitch, 13 hits allowed, seven runs, all of them earned. I'm really surprised. They left Thielman in there that long. Four walks and no strikeouts. Wow. So 
So, Giants. Donlin goes four for six with three RBIs. He's the MVP of the game. Knocked in the game-winning run there. In the bottom of the 10th. Two outs when the winning one scored. My game was one for five with two RBIs. Devlin, also another great day. Four for five with an RBI and a run scored. Fortunately, Brown is the lone goose egg up there other than Gilbert, the shortstop. But Brown goes 0 for 5 to snap his hitting streak. But Bresnahan continues his with the one hit there. A couple of walks. So he'll have a, I believe it's a 13 game hitting streak now. So we'll still have Bresnahan's hitting streak. Which is one, be yeah, one behind our hitting streak, the winning streak. But Brown gets his. Hitting streak snapped. Let's take a look at the, at the batting. Let's go look at the pitcher in here. We saw that. Miscellaneous. Giving Abrey Donald, MVP Donald. Errors are Ames. Brown is 10th error on the season, so. Yeah, L. <laughs> Brown has 10 errors on the season. Gilbert is 6th. Gilbert's a second baseman, though, so you kind of expect it with him, but the right fielder having 10 errors, definitely you don't. You don't hear it. That's a lot of errors for a right fielder, for any outfielder. Look at that, so that's your score there. There's your box score, your score sheet, in case you want to look at that. Giant score sheet there. Let me recap. Pretty exciting game overall. Three to one lead in the third for the Giants, and then and it came three to two, and then the Giants retook the lead five to two. Okay, three to two, yeah. Five to two, extended the lead to five to two, and then St. Louis scored four in the seventh on a couple of errors. Two only two of the runs were earned to make it a six to five game, and the Giants would score a run in the bottom of the seventh to tie it, and then. The Giants win it on the walk-off single by Donlin in the bottom of the 10th inning. So exciting stuff there. There you go. So thank you for joining us. I'm Eric from Kaya Brown Gaming. On behalf of my co-host co -host and hostesses and hostess, Mr. Brody and Mags will be signing off. So thank you for joining me when the next game when against the St. Louis Cardinals when the Giants go for 15 in a row. Can they do it? Eventually it's got to stop. When will it stop? <laughs> Join us and find out. So if you like these videos, sign, sign up, and uh, subscribe and like. hit the like button. We definitely appreciate it as we're trying to grow the channel. Um, Check out like Al Red Sox fan. He has a great station too. Tabletop baseball for some great retro um, tabletop games. Tabletop baseball games. I know they're doing a lot of in, uh, Pine Tar, Stratomatic, um, Appa, among other games. Even horse racing. <laughs> they have a good variety of games there. And uh, we're all looking to help, help support each other and grow the channels. Baseball demos. Um among others, EO Sports League there, and um, I'm forgetting some here, forgive me, it's getting a little bit late at night, but uh, yeah, check, just check out my, uh, my who I like, like channels, or who I've subscribed to, a lot of them are retro sports, and sp specifically a lot of them baseball, but other sports too, so check them out, and uh, take care and have a blessed night, so God bless, bye bye.